pitch is very simple. I'm Theresa May, and I think I'm the best person to be Prime Minister yeah. of this country. <laughs> I mean, Theresa's a bloody difficult woman, but you and I work for Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> the Article 50 process is now underway. Brexit means Brexit. Means Brexit. Means Brexit. Means Brexit. I'm very clear Brexit does mean Brexit. I have just chaired a meeting of the Cabinet where we agreed that the government should call a general election. It is only by voting Conservative that you get that strong and stable leadership. Strong and stable, 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 strong and stable leadership. There will be a hung parliament with the Conservatives losing their majority. Are you stepping down, Mrs May? It's been a disaster, hasn't it? I had wanted to achieve a larger majority, uh, but that was not the result that we secured. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed while our opponents flirt with a foreign policy of neutrality. Why, <coughs> why we will never, <coughs> excuse me, that was shared around. The Cabinet has agreed our collective position on the future of our negotiations with the EU. Uh, and the breaking news this hour is that the Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, has resigned. Prime Minister faces a new threat to her leadership. Enough Conservative MPs are now ready to trigger a vote of no confidence in her leadership. The result uh, of the ballot uh, held this evening is that the Parliamentary Party does have confidence. Yeah! A significant number of colleagues did cast a vote against me and I have listened to what they said. The eyes to the right, 202. The nose to the left, 432. The eyes to the right, 242. The nose to the left, 391. The eyes to the right, 286. The nose to the left, 344. EU leaders have agreed to delay Brexit until the end of October after hours of discussions in Brussels. I have done everything I can to convince MPs to back that deal. Sadly, I have not been able to do so. I will shortly leave the job that it has been the honour of my life to hold. The second female Prime Minister, but certainly not the last. I do so with no ill will, but with enormous and enduring gratitude to have had the opportunity to serve the country I love.